Hey, what's up? So it's been almost a month since the SLS was announced and SpaceX, about a week afterwards, announced that they're working on a new type of reusable launch vehicle which they're calling the Grasshopper. Pretty much what it is is a basic Falcon 9 rocket but with the ability to be able to maneuver in space and return back to Earth. Now Elon Musk said that this video isn't quite an accurate description of what it's actually going to be like. However, you get the basic idea that the first stage will fly back and then the second stage after it separates will be able to fly back as well. Now the second stage, because it's reached all the way into orbit, is going to need a heat shield in order to re-enter the atmosphere and not burn up. And uh, SpaceX has already developed their own heat shield called the Pika X, which is also going to be on their Dragon spacecraft. Now this is all very good news because if they can achieve this, if they can get full reusability with both the stages, then it's going to bring the cost of rocket launches way down. Now, as everybody should know by now, SpaceX is one of the American companies that are replacing the space shuttle as a means of delivering cargo and crew to the International Space Station. And in order for SpaceX and NASA to send all this cargo and crews to the International Space Station and hopefully go beyond that and do other cool stuff like going to the moon, they need those launches to be as cheap as possible. We need those launches to be as cheap as possible. The American taxpayer are the ones who are paying for it, and I don't need to tell you that we're in a recession right now. Now, this is the thing about the whole reusability. With the Dragon capsule, they're going to have their launch abort system be mounted on the side as a pusher escape system. And just like you can see in the video, they're going to use that as a means of returning uh, the capsule on land instead of doing a splashdown in the ocean. And that's just freaking cool. As far as the Dragon capsule itself being able to land with just its thrusters, they're also going to have parachutes just in case anything goes wrong. And with the launch abort system, they're already working on that under the CC dev program so that the vehicle will be uh, certified to have humans on board. Now before all that, they got started with COTS, which is the Commercial Orbital Transportation System. Under COTS, they are developing their Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule to be able to deliver just cargo to the International Space Station. Uh, the Falcon 9 rocket has already flown and a Dragon capsule has already flown uh, on their first demonstration mission just to see if the thing could fly and return back to Earth, which it did. It was a complete success and it was the first time that uh, a space company, a commercial space company, had ever done something like this. Only governments have been able to return a capsule back to Earth. so. It was a big deal. While I was in Florida for the last space shuttle launch, uh, SpaceX happened to have their very first Dragon capsule that flew in space on display at their launch control center. And it was just so cool for me to actually see the spacecraft that I was so excited to talk about in my video when they first accomplished this mission back in December of last year. They have a few more missions to go before they can start delivering cargo and uh, like I said they gotta finish the launch abort system before they can start delivering crew. Well, while I was here at this little presentation that they gave, uh, Garrett Reisman was there and I was able to sit down and chat with him about the work that he has overseen on that very launch abort system. Alright, so will you introduce yourself for those who don't know who you are? Sure, I'm Garrett. Garrett, nice to meet you. <laughs> you want more than that? <laughs> so you're a shuttle astronaut, or were a shuttle astronaut, correct? That's correct, yeah. How did it come about that um, you started working for SpaceX? Well, that was my last mission, and uh, I kind of looked around at what was going on in the world of space, and I got very excited about what was happening in the commercial space sector and all the innovation that was being unlocked, and I thought, wow, you know, that's really our future uh, in space, and I want to be a part of that. Number. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> was it uh, uh, Elon or uh, Gwyn Shotwell or someone else who first approached you? or I approached them. You approached them. There oh, yeah, you go. Yeah, Take yeah, the initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, uh, I, uh, after my last mission, I saw cool. what was going on in SpaceX, and especially after the first Flight of the Dragon. I got real excited about that, and I, went, I thought that uh, well, here's a here's a place that's really going great guns, and, and uh, be be a real fun place and uh, be a part of it. And uh, so I approached them, and, and fortunately they were crazy enough to take me on, and I'm very very happy that they did because uh, it's an amazing place. That's awesome. Yeah. So I understand that you're working on uh, the uh, escape system. Uh, that's right. Are you passionate about about that, or why why no, specifically no, I, I, I you on that? I never use it. <laughs> 
I hope it's there for the ride. Uh, uh, but no, but I'm very passionate about putting people in the dragon uh, and uh, and uh, all doing all the things we need to do to, to have it ready for people. And because uh, that's really what the company was founded for, and that's really what it's all about. And that's really the, my, my, what I look forward to most uh, coming over to SpaceX was working on putting astronauts into into the, the dragon. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, Garrett. Excuse me. Uh, uh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again, Dr. Reisman, for answering my questions. Now, as far as making the Falcon rocket reusable, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But if it's possible, Elon Musk has said that they could possibly reuse a rocket up to a thousand times. I think that it's a little bit of an overestimation, but even if they can get to do it ten times, it'll be such a, a savings on cost that the price will go way down. And he's saying that if they do get to do it a thousand times, the only thing they'll have to pay for is fuel for all those launches. So the price will go down from being 50 to 60 million per launch to 50,000 per launch. Now, it's going to be a long time before that happens, but if that does happen, forget just sending cargo to the International Space Station or even crew. We're going to be going to the moon. We're going to be going to Mars. We're going to be doing so much crazy stuff. So, thank you, Elon Musk, for giving me and uh, hopefully some of you who are watching something to be very excited about.